Howdy folks, Shabby is back, and he's back to, what am I back to do? I don't know, finish some things up, we're gonna loot the hunting lodge and finish stockpiling in Broken Railroad. Wow, that was really poetic, beautiful Shabby, well done. Let's go, <laughs> let's do it. I'm just waking up, I'm just waking up. Folks, we're going to start off right away, right out of the gate. We have makings for pancakes. This is good. This is good. This is what it's all about. This is why we came here. So we can make pancakes. Alright, we just got into the hunting lodge. Um, so we haven't looted anything yet. We pretty much have eliminated all of our wolf threats. We haven't killed every wolf in the zone, but... All the ones that would stand in our way, I believe. There might be one sneaking around somewhere, maybe, but... Done a pretty good job clearing that out. The Riff Raff. Oh, I said Riff... I noticed yesterday I was saying Riff... Raft? Riff Raft. It's just Riff Raff. There's no T. But I had to look that up. I had to look that up later. After the stream. Oh, here we go. More matches. Always a welcome sight. All right. I feel like a breeze through there. I'm sometimes I'm talking too much. I'm not actually thinking about looting. We got some flowers. That was good. Again, pancakes. And we really had all the we got all the ingredients for pancakes when we came in here. So, it's like it's like the game wants you to ma make pancakes, isn't it? It's just like that. Do we have a lantern? We do. Hmm. I just want to get a fire going and... Let's do that. Let's go ahead and make some water. Maybe make some pancakes. Let's do that. Let's do it. Come on, why not, man? Live a little shabby. Treat yourself right, man. There's a secret recipe we need to get while we're in here. Can't forget that. Briar House Pie. Very good recipe. It has the most calories of all the all the recipes. Oh man, I want to hang on to my coal. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some all the skillets always hiding. Always hiding from us. Wait a minute. Should we just make... Let's make pancakes. We're gonna make pancakes, by golly. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Live a little. That's, that's what I'm talking about. When you're in the apocalypse, you gotta... You know, you gotta live a little bit. Five minutes until ready. Okay. Okay, here we go. Fresh pancakes. I think I need to lie down. Gourmet pancakes, baby. Delicious. Right off the, right off the, right out of the skillet, and into my mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Enough of that business. <laughs> Let's make some water. Got an hour on that. Alright, that should be enough for everything. Alright, we'll come back down. Come back down and get the rest of our water. Or come back up, I guess. It's pretty bright down here. Usually it's super dark. Let's get some carrots and potatoes. Come on. Oh no. Come on, give me something. It's like a slot machine or something. <laughs> the 
instead of three cherries, you get three potatoes. Except we didn't. I don't know. I'm trying to make an analogy there, and it's not working. Oh well. Okay, let's keep an eye out for that recipe. It's around here somewhere. Again, it's usually really dark in here, so I'm kind of enjoying this brightness. Find a wet zone. I'm laughing because last time I was here I made a joke about that horseshoe. <laughs> it was dumb. I'm going to tell it again, though. It's not a joke, really. Just a funny thing to think about is if this was multiplayer, you could put that horseshoe into someone's backpack. Make them encumbered. They're like, why am I encumbered? What happened? And you're just over there laughing. Okay, see, it's dumb. It's dumb, I told you. All right. All right, cleared. We cleared that out. Let's go check on our water. Thirty-eight minutes on that. Okay, we could throw that fur on there. I think we're okay. We're all right. We'll just let that run out. We got, we're powered by, we're fueled by pancakes right now. We're running on pancake power right now, so we're, everything's good. There's the stem. Don't forget that when you're here too. Okay, just in case we want to lower that rope. I mean, we're ne we'll never use that rope, but it is kind of fun to deploy ropes. Just to put your little your mark on the world, I guess, you know. Alright, sometimes that recipe's just laying in the floor somewhere, so you gotta just keep your eyes out. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Right here. Briar House Pie, baby. The Bee House. The Big Bee House Pie. That one requires ptarmigan, venison, and rabbit. And uh, it's just packed full of calories and it's got some good buffs. It's uh, really good. We do need to re we do need to increase our sewing skills, so that's good. It's probably the last book that we really need. Ice fishing, I guess, would be good too. All right, we cleared it out. Okay, got some water. Good amount of water. All right, let's take all this. Take all of that. Um, okay, I don't think we're going to need it again. I think we just, I think we took care of business. I think we cleared out all of our threats, so we can do this later. Let's just move. I, I'm uh, I am pretty damn encumbered though. There's lots of teas around here too. I could probably. Maybe we'll just do that. What time is it? It's almost sundown. Let's just spend the night here. Let's um, let's just do some foraging around here, and then um, that's a big tree right here. Uh, we'll do some foraging around here, and then just sleep here. Let's 
sleep in a cozy spot for once, you know? We don't have a we don't have a pry bar. Guess maybe we can just go out here and get this deer. Maybe we'll get the Take care of this deer. Now I can't remember if they're cattails or not. Out here. Some burdock, I think, down there. seeing anything up there. Look at all this burdock. My goodness, there's three of them. I guess we'll have to use our hatchet to get them. I suppose that's what's going on here. Let's get down here and we'll get a fire going next to this deer. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. I don't want to thaw them out because we're using a hacksaw. So we want to keep the deer frozen because it'll be a lot faster. I mean, hell, it's warm enough. We don't even need a we don't even need a fire. All right, good times. There are a, there's a there's like three deer carcasses kind of in a very small area up here. The other two are up that way, which we'll we'll, we'll also get tomorrow on our way out, way back down. Um, no feathers. Here we go. Here's some feathers. All right, I think I'm just gonna let this fire go out. Since it's so warm, and there's no wolves, just in case. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing. Eleven minutes. Oh, baby, perfect. We want to get the, we want to get the hide too for sure. That's actually probably more important than the food. Always do that with your hand. Hand is always going to be the quickest way to to skin the deer, so you want to you definitely want to do that with your hand. And it's worth it. Like you don't you won't be able to do it early early game until it's thawed. So just go ahead and thaw it out, and then use your hand to get that deer hide. All right, what else can we do around here before we go inside? I don't think there's cattails. I don't recall cattails around here. There's a bunch of mushrooms over here. We might want to grab those. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the wolf. I was like, what else is over here? dead wolf those feathers and we are slow so slow that's good we're not in a hurry no hurry so nervous about wolves <laughs> it's just paranoia that it's all it's not I don't think there's any real threat there's about there's a bunch of those three stumps over there have mushrooms but that's okay picking up sticks picking up sticks Oh, 
There we go. Couldn't I couldn't find it. Okay, lovely day. An absolutely lovely day. Mushroom and let's go inside. Sweet. Salute the flag. I'm not Canadian, but I mean, I guess Will or uh, Astrid is, is Canadian, let's just say. Get some sleep. We had our pancakes. We're, I mean, what a day. What a day. Wow. You can have, you can have, it wasn't necessary morning when we have pancakes, but you can have pancakes any time of day, really. I mean, that's how I feel about it. All right, are we going to run around with raw meat? Or I guess I can cook it in the morning, maybe, if we get a mag lens or something. Who knows? If I have more energy, we could read, but can't do that. So, never mind. Um, it's, we just need to replenish our, our tea supply, looks like, to me. 22 minutes. Let's go for it. Okay. We'll just do some repairs and I guess I probably could get the deer hide curing, even though it's probably not going to make a difference. Um, what else can we do before we sleep? Got tons of food. This is great. This is really nice. Take care of yourself. A little choring, a little bit of charm before you sleep. It's always a good idea. Some of these out. Anything below 20% gets gets harvested. And then we probably could do some, we could do some acorn prepping before we sleep. An hour, one hour of acorn prep. Okay. Let's see. Can knock out a few of these as well. How about an hour of mushroom crafting? Or prepping, whatever you say. Rose hips, look at this. Tons of rose hips. One hour of rose hip prep? Okay. All right. Damn shabby. Lots of chores. On into the night. Deep into the night. Shabby's choring away. Okay, now let's get some sleep. Sweet. All right. All right, what's my cloth situation? Six, okay. Um, yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna worry about cloth. Let's go. This place has tons of resources if, we, if like, you know, way later in the game, if we need, if we need something here, we can, we can come back. Doubt if we ever will, but it's, it's on the table. It's a possibility.
Oh wait, did I drop my deer, I dropped my deer hide in here, didn't I? I always forget that stuff. Well, actually, I've been good on this run. I really have um, done a pretty good job of not forgetting stuff. I think I accidentally left some rabbit hides the first day or so. Or not the first day, but it was, you know, it was early on. That's the only time I've made a mistake like that so far. <laughs> we'll see. I almost forgot my moose hide once. That would have been a big mistake. Hey. Hang on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I think the deer carcass should be up this way. Forgot our mushrooms over there, that's okay though. We're good on mushrooms. Don't think there there's any wolves up here right now, but can't be too careful. We killed a bunch of wolves yesterday. A bunch. I think that was all yesterday. It was probably over the past two days, actually, now I think about it. There's a deer carcass here, and then there's one. Let's go ahead and make a fire. No, you know what we'll do? We can, um, let's just harvest this deer, and then we'll go to the cave over there and cook everything up. Man, probably going to take a little bit of damage here. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. I gotta get the hide too, though. Shoot. Oh, wait. Maybe we can get a maglens. Let's see if we can get a maglens. Look at that. Oh, baby. Sweet. I love it. I love that. Usually I get impatient and just go ahead and use a match, but it's nice. It worked out nice this time. Perfect. All right, let's throw this old heavy old thing on there. All right, what what do we need to do here? Let's see. Oop. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a coal, I think. Let me just throw a coal on here. It's gonna be a massive fire. Let's see, I think that'll do it. There we go. Okay. Wait, we have two skillets. Let's, throw, let's use them. Such a hassle, but let's use them. That, that, what's going on? There we go. Eight minutes, okay. Looking good, looking good. I don't know why, it used to be easier to sort the, the, the cooking items, but you know, it's a little wonky now. I can't even remember how it used to be. I just remember it was easier. And 
and we're eating a lot of meat lately. I'm just like, are we gonna get scurvy or what? <laughs> I think we are. I think the risk is gonna start creeping up on us pretty soon. I feel like. mushrooms there's a pretty decent amount of mushrooms up here okay we have too much water don't we uh, we're okay Let's see, let's make a tea. I made a tea in a bit. Make one of each, I guess. Do that. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, looks like the wind is picking up a little bit. Get three good ones, three good torches, and we'll go. All right, let's hit it. Oh, steak or bear steak. There's not much left on that steak, but we'll grab it. And then I think there's a third deer carcass over here. My goodness, they're keeping us busy today with all these deer carcasses. Carci. Right, that's plural for carcass. Carcasses. Anything down here? No backpack or anything? Ooh, here's maple. Let's grab this maple. So much to grab. There's just, just a it's the bounty. Bounty. Let's go in the cave and warm up. Here's the deer carcass. Probably actually shouldn't um, harvest the. Wait a minute! Did I pass the cave? I did. Walked right past it. Um, probably shouldn't harvest the deer, or, or sorry, cook the deer meat because I want to have Briar House pie fixins. You know what I mean? Look at all this wood. Let's be prepared. More maple syrup. Oh, jackpot, baby! Jackpot pancakes for days. Okay, let's warm up in here. Um, let's go ahead and make a fire since we have all this fuel. Might as well. I can't take all this fuel with me, it's too much. I mean, I actually could make a venison pie Come on, so I could pie. carry more stuff, but it's okay. There's a lot of fuel at the maintenance shed. I mean, it's reclaimed wood heaven, but um, it's still, it's fuel. I just have to break it down, that's all. All right. Let's warm up for just a smidge and then we'll hop out there and get that deer. Okay. All right, everything's cooked. Okay. I'm sure we'll hit a blizzard as soon as I start traveling back because I always run into a blizzard when I leave here almost every single time. Now let's go just go ahead and get the high because we're still warm. I think we'll be able to do this. Let's 
still got plenty of the day left. We'll go back in here, we'll warm back up, and then we'll leave. Okay. Alright, should we make some warm teas or not? I don't know. It is pretty... It is pretty cold out there. We'll drop a couple of these. Let's just do... Let's do old school. No thermos. Let's drop these two teas. And, just in case we need them. Okay, let's go. Let's take our meat. We stink to high heaven, but I mean, there might not be any wolves <laughs> there to greet us when we come down, which would be crazy. Got our bedroll. Is this the makings of a blizzard? I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure the game is plotting our death somehow. That's what it does. That's what it does best. Always a good idea to stay out of the wind when you're walking like this. And once you once you get once your temperature goes to red, then it doesn't matter. You you lose health at the same rate no matter what. The only thing you probably could do is just stay out of the um, you know stay out of the wind so you could move faster. But otherwise, it doesn't make a difference. But it does right now. It it this like uh, delays delays the. Um, you know, the loss of temperature when you stay in, stay in the wind shelter. Well, there actually might be a wolf up here. I think there's one wolf up here. It's the ones that below on the lower level, That's those, those worry me. Those are the ones that worry me for some reason. More than this one up here. Alright, we'll save room for tea just in case. But I don't think we're gonna... We're only one arrow down right now. It's looking pretty good. Actually, I kind of do want to drink a rose hip tea just because of the... Our... <laughs> because of our lack of vitamin C. I haven't had any vitamin C in a bit, seems like. We haven't eaten any fish in a really long time. I haven't done any fishing. I, the only fish that we've eaten on this run is what we found. I never go down that creek. I might. Ooh, ooh look at this. Man, we gotta do this. We gotta get one. We gotta get one. We gotta get one. Where's it? It's tools. Tools. All right, I'm just gonna let that go out. It's fine. Okay, here we go. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna get real close so we don't miss. You can throw a. a oh, oh, here comes a wolf. Here comes a wolf. Here comes a wolf. He's gonna get a. He's gonna get one of these ptarmigans though for us. Oh no, no, he saw us. He saw us. Oh shit. I don't think. Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> he scared off a ptarmigan, though. Jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. Probably should try to shoot him again. This 
So we don't have to wait for him to bleed out. Comes back this way, we'll shoot him. Here he comes. Oh, shot way over him. Terrible. Terrible shooting. Now don't shoot off the cliff. Yeah, we got it, we got it. <laughs> Alright, okay, we got our arrow, that's all that matters. He'll just bleed out now. That's the third time on this run I've done it, and I've never done it before. That's that's crazy. I did it on a Timberwolf. So two regular wolves and a Timberwolf. I probably have done it before, actually. The first time I did it on this run was awesome, though, because it was just running right past us. I was so happy. I wasn't totally sure that that wolf wouldn't come across that bridge, but I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure. Let's get all of these acorns. There's a bunch up here. I'm going to turn a lot of this into acorn flour. For mainly for prepper's pie. That's the that's the main thing I want to make. Prepper's pie. The ingredients for prepper's pie are acorn flour, mushrooms, burdock root. I think he just died. Um did I skip the lockbox? I think it's got some birch in it. That's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, what else? I think those are the only forageable things in it. But you could probably end up making a lot of prepper's pie. I think burdock root is probably the most limiting ingredient in there. And it doesn't smell, it's got a ton of calories, it's really, it's really good. It's a really good thing to, to make. Oh, I think I'm deer carcassed out, folks. Should we just let this one ride? I think so. I mean, it's nice and warm. We're right by the maintenance shed. I mean, it's right down there. I just heard a wolf howling. Oh, the wolves are back. Sounds like the wolves are back, man. And we smell, we smell enough where we will know it as soon as we get over this hill here. I think I saw something moving over there. Huh? Okay. Alright. Just go along the, just go to the left here and it'll be just fine. Probably, I think. As long as there's no wolves down here at the bottom waiting for you, should be just fine. I like going this way because you only you have the your back to the wall here, so you only have to look one direction. Danger can only come from one one direction. It's the first time that One Direction and Danger have been mentioned in the same sentence. That was a dumb joke. Sorry. Okay. My apologies for the bad jokes. Here's the raw meat. Let's keep the raw meat over here. Damn, I wish those ptarmigans... Let's see, where should we put the raw meat? I 
I'll put it over here. Just as long as it's not in the same... Oh, wait, we have a bunch of raw meat right here. Let's just do that. Here we go. Alright. Keep your... Separate your meats, folks. Very important. You can still get intestinal parasites. Put that away. Put that away, Shabby. Alright, and this is a tiny piece. Let's just eat it. Alright, now what? Now what do we do? Let's put our curables down. We've got three deer hides. That's awesome. So now we have five total. I need to start thinking about if I'm going to make a set another Travoy or not. That would be the third Travoy. Let's see what our bow condition's in. 46%. Okay. Alright. It's not imminent, but it's getting close to new bow time. all this oil. We got a ton of oil. Let's drop the oil. Um, carrots. Don't need to carry those around. Potatoes. Like my rose hips. I kind of like having munching food on me, but um... I mean, this stuff's not going to last forever, is it? <laughs> don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know how to organize things like this. Can you stick a potato in there? Is there a potato spot? On the edge? I saw it green for a second. Let's see. Oh, it's down there. Okay. <laughs> Potatoes next to the... Okay, hang on. My dog is ringing the, his little bell that he needs to go outside. I'll be right back. Oh, come on, Shabby. Come on, Shabby. Uh-oh, hang on. He's ringing it twice. I gotta come up with a better plan for that. Okay, here we go. Put the oil, oil and water, they don't mix. What are you doing, Shabby? Running out of space here, folks. I mean, there's clearly enough room to put that in there. Clearly. I just have to yell at you. Just have to yell at it and complain. I'm good at complaining. I can do that. I can handle that. Okay, it's an, ass an assortment. It's quite the assortment there. Okay. Got to do some repairs. Let's go check. What what can we do right now? I don't even know what to do with myself. Probably just drop some more gear. We have too much stuff. I'm going to go check and see if there's a ptarmigan. Uh, a covey? A covey of ptarmigan? What did I call them before? A fluff? I mean, that's I guess that's what you would call a group of uh, rabbits. Somebody left a comment telling me that's, that's more of a rabbit thing. But you do get the feathers, the down. I'll think of something. I guess fluff does work better for... For bun, uh, for bun buns, instead of ptarmigans.
we need an unofficial name for a group of ptarmigans. If you can think of something, leave it in the comments. And I'll consider it. Okay. Um, I mean, this is like a luxury right now, folks. We got no, we have no wolf problems right now. At least I don't think so. Anything in here? It's empty. Okay. Like I said, we were we're nearing the time where, you know, we're pretty much our business is done here, and it's time to move on. But I do want to repair my, I do want to do some repairs on my gloves and boots before we leave. So that'll be our timer. That'll be our countdown. And once we do that, then we're then we're out of here. I don't think there's any ptarmigans up here. Not hearing them. The damn wolf messed that up, didn't he? He almost messed us up. So I guess I can't complain too much. I don't know where the other ptarmigan spots are in the zone. You know what we could do as an adventure today? We could go down the... We could go down into the, um, we could go down into the ravine part of the zone. Let's do that. That'll be a little adventure we can do. Probably need to find a rope first. This is one of those little visited spots in the game, but there's a stem down there, so we could go get a stem, which is always a good idea. I'm still really nervous walking around here. We have to rest um, if we're going to do a climb, so... Uh, Actually, we need to find a rope. Let's find a rope first and see if it's even an option. And then we'll rest and then we'll maybe climb. Depending on the weather. I think the rope is usually over here somewhere. Back in here, maybe? No? This room, not seeing a rope. Man, look at that light. Oh, it's so cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. Not doing any good in here, so I'll just take those gloves and. all kinds of resources in here folks we got crates we got cloth and crates and metal if we need it all kinds of stuff apparently there's no rope though <laughs> where's the rope what time is it sundown Am I just walking right past the rope and I'm just not seeing it? Where is it? Hmm. Car battery. <laughs> Don't need that though. Well, that's too bad. I thought there was... Maybe the, maybe the rope's already um, deployed. Could that that's a possibility as well. I don't like to count. That's a very optimistic thought, though. I, that's a dangerous thing to do in TLD. Don't be optimistic; it'll get you killed. Plan for the worst. That's the way to go. 
All right, well, let's sleep for, um, looks like, like, damn. Timing on this is not right. Let's just read. I can't, we can't do it today. We're not gonna be able to do it today. Weather's starting to turn crappy. We don't know if there's a rope over there and it's getting late. And we have to rest. So all those things are factoring into the fact that we're just not gonna do it. <laughs> Let's just read. I could make arrows, actually. Let me see what we got here on arrows. Oh, wait, wait, I'll just do it like this. Okay, we have 12 arrows. It's like the game wants us to go out there. Mm. It's teasing us. Like, Shabby, look at the weather's not that bad. Come on out. Sun is shining. I'm tired. Hey, Rootbeard. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we just basically left the hunting lodge and just got a bunch of deer hides off of the cor uh, carcasses. And we had a little run in with the wolf on the upper level, but um, right at the bridge. And I just hopped onto the bridge and um, he left us alone, shot him. And then we're back in the maintenance shed. And I'm, I'm deliberating on going to down into the ravine part of, uh, of the zone. But we can't find a rope. And it's late. And that's it. So we're reading. And we're going to sleep. <laughs> that's about it. That's the review of the, of the session. Okay. Now, let's read that last chapter. This is another reason why this, this this room is amazing is because you can read at night. You don't get cabin fever here. Surrounded by snow and you get to drink. a decent warmth bonus. You can make a fire in here. It's this is a great spot. And there's a workbench right by. I mean, it's just a, it's a pretty kick-ass spot, I got to say. I made pancake. Oh yeah, root beard. That's what you missed. I made pancakes. I mean, I probably I made it within the first five minutes, but yeah, we made pancakes. It was wonderful. I wonder if pan does pancakes have vitamin C? Not that it matters. That's not going to deter me from making pancakes, but I'm just curious. No vitamin C. Okay. Let's see. Do any of these? I'm just curious, actually. Okay, yeah. Right here. Moderate for purpose pie. Minor. Dock workers pie. Oh, because it has fish in it. Okay. And we got to start making some... We got to start fishing. We're going we're gonna to fish at some point. We we're gonna fish at some point for sure. I mean, we can't we can't not fish because we we will get scurvy if you're not if you're not fishing you're gonna get scurvy. I would assume. I might do it sooner than what I intended because I wanted to just do like a, you know, my three main quests on this run were. To do signal void and buried, buried echoes. Number two, do a sort of a mapping quest, cartography quest, and then three, do a fishing expedition at the end. But we're gonna have to start fishing sooner, <laughs> so that's gotta happen. We'll, we'll get scurvy if we don't do that. Um. All right, let's sleep. I'm still a little nervous about sleeping in here. Okay, we're fully healed. Looking good. 
Nice and cozy in here. Let's see, how long can we sleep? Five hours? Lazlo, good to see you. Good to see you. We're quiet as a mouse in here. Quiet as a mouse. I need to find some ptarmigans, y'all. We gotta find ptarmigans. Okay. Now we're starting to get to the point where the wolves could start coming back. I'm pretty much, I think I cleared out all of the wolves um, a day and a half ago. We did. We went on a killing, major killing spree. Now, Rootbeater was there for that, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, there are. Up on the up on that route that where the bridge is, that little footbridge. Are is that the spawn you're talking about? Or over by the cave before you get to the bridge. Yeah, the ones by the bridge, the wolf came, he smelled us, and the wolf came and scared... I was about to hunt, I was hunting the ptarmigans, and then a wolf came because he smelled us, and then he and he scared them all off. <laughs> uh, so, no ptarmigans on that. And I've already scared the, the ptarmigans off up here. Up there. But, I don't know how, I don't know what the respawn is on that. Knowing this game, though, I'm just—I'm afraid that wolves are going to start respawning in pretty soon. I want to get my boots repaired and my my mitts repaired before I leave for Forsaken Airfield. So that's really what's why we're lingering. And go up here and see if they respawn. I doubt if they did. Potkova. Hello. Good to have you. Okay. No ptarmigans. Ptarmigans are not back. Let's see if there's rabbits over here. I have already killed these rabbits, but... I guess we could check again if they're... Respawn. I doubt it. Really doubt if we have rabbits here. Yeah, no rabbits. Oh, now let's just let's just go around this. Let's just go around here. Oh, uh oh, that's a wrist sprain. We gotta fix that. Let's get out. Let's get out of the wind. There we go. Am I the only one that likes to pronounce it the term again? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think that's a I think that that's an alternative saying absolutely. You can absolutely say it that way. I might actually throw a Patarmigan in there every now and then. Who knows? Let's see if the rope is deployed or not down here. That's something we could do. <laughs> you got an octopus going on. <laughs> That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Alright. Man. It's funny. There's so many wolves in this small area. It's just like... it's con They're concentrated. So it feels like there's a million wolves in here. So I'm just like, I, my guard is like, I can't let my guard down, even though I'm pretty sure we, did, we, we took them all out. Let's see, where the hell is that rope climb? It's a little bit further down here, I think. Here we go, it's in here. No rope, okay. There's a rope at the hunting lodge. Um, I bet there's a rope in the maintenance shed, just not finding it. Look at this poor soul, this sad soul here. Yeah, all it takes is one to end the run, that is absolutely right. One misstep, that's what, that's what's so exciting about this game, I mean... You can play for, you can, you can have a run that goes 200 days. 
and then you just make one little misstep and it's all over and it's gone the whole thing just like that that to me is that to me is what makes this game so special Did you find a little boat while beach coming? I didn't. Not on this. Not so. Not yet. I mean, I have on other runs, but not on this run. I did not have a uh, a boat spawn in. And I did. I did beach combing like on day, like day one. I was beach combing, and then probably for the first like two weeks, so off and on, I was beach combing because I was in Desolation Point and Coastal Highway. Uh, but never found the but the boat never spawned in for me. The long dark becomes the long doe. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do Homer, but it's ter. I did a terrible Homer. No. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the wolf that was here is already the the carcass is gone. So that means clock is ticking. That was the first wolf I killed. That the one that right that was right there. It's not there now. So we should get some respawn happening pretty soon. All right. Let's get something to eat. Again, I'm well on my way to scurvy. I'm definitely on my way to scurvy land right now. I'm not careful. Yeah, Lurk, I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be stopping here real soon. We're, I'm, I only play for about an hour, so we're reaching that hour mark right now. And um, I'm just gonna see. I'll just probably do a couple things. I'll probably repair my gloves. Oh, we're still pretty far on these deer hides. Damn it. Oh, shoot. We're still only 54% cured on that. That sucks. Uh, by not eating food with um, vitamin C, basically. And there's... Um, I don't know all the ins and outs of, of vitamin C, but um, there's certain foods that have it. Like beef jerky... Strangely enough, I'm just kidding. No, definitely does not have vitamin C. Cattails have a moderate amount of vitamin C. Now that's something that's going to keep me. That's this is really what I rely on. A lot of times, so um, I didn't realize it had a moderate level. So this is actually probably the reason why I haven't got scurvy yet. <laughs> um, rosehip pie has a minor amount, or even I think rosehip tea. Minor. Same thing with Reshi. Um, let's see what else. Crackers, no vitamin C. So it's just like, and then of course you know if you're just right, if you're just living off of meat, um, you're gonna get scurvy eventually. And and then fish is probably the the primary source of vitamin C in the game. So it's almost like, you know, they kind of want you fishing more. <laughs> I mean, they're giving us subtle hints, they're giving us tip-ups, and changing the, adding more fish to the game, and adding the scurvy thing, where fish has the primary source of vitamin C, so I think fishing is encouraged, seems like. Um, damn, we haven't really done much today, but that's okay, I guess, I'm just waiting Maybe I could take a hide with me, and we could just get on with it. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do right now, folks. I'm not sure. Did we finish reading the book? We could do that. Yeah, we finished reading. Put it back here or something. 
Um, okay, I think I'm going to stop for the day. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and repair our um, rabbit mitts. That'll give us something to do. I mean, they're not, they're not in dire need, but couldn't hurt. They need to add strawberries and oranges. Yeah, they definitely need to add strawberries. I'll be down for that. I don't know if our, I don't know if oranges really grow in, uh, in Canada, <laughs> but strawberries do. You definitely get some strawberries in Canada. Might be a little cold. They might be out of season right now. They should have like a greenhouse, you know, like a ruined greenhouse would be pretty sweet. I think that would be neat. How was the basketball game yesterday? It was, you know, it was uh, chaos. I mean, I the they were re the refs were really nice. Well, the ref was really nice. He was, you know, he's just teaching. They're they're teaching them how to play. It's just funny. It's just funny. Everyone's just so confused. That was the primary vibe of the game was just confusion. It was fun though. It was fun. Um. Okay. Oh, we repaired. What else can we do? I'm just I'm just messing around now, right now, folks. I'm I don't really have anything going on. Um, I'm gonna stop here in just a sec. Really want to get those repaired. I think I might just grab a hide and take it with me. We'll just do some gear sorting, I think, on the next session. I'm going to do a little bit of gear sorting right now. I'm going to prepare to leave. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to prepare to leave. We're going to be doing Signal Void next session. We're going to start. Heading to the far territories, baby. Let's just um, let's do some acorn prep here. Nothing wrong with that. Actually, let's do some repairs to close right now if we need them. Because we have we have sunlight. You're working on signal void right now. Sweet. Is this your is is this the first time doing it? And how far along are you? I love I love doing it. I know you don't have, I don't, I've already done it once, so I don't necessarily have to do it before doing bar Buried Echoes, but I just, I like doing it. It gives me, it's, it gives me a quest, it gives me a reason, a reason to be. That guy who drank it. Last run in Aurora Wolf got me in HRV. Oh, yeah, you gotta do stuff in, during the Aurora, which that's what really, that's what makes it hard, is you, you're out there during Aurora. Yeah, that's what makes it difficult, really. I have the transmitters repaired and have done Bunker 1, working on Bunker 2. All right, well, keep at it, man. You're on your way. Just be careful. Don't get in a hurry. Just sneak. A lot of sneaking. That's what I do. I just sneak around. Okay, um, do we need to make, do we need to make arrows? I have, let's make a set, let's make a set of arrows. You didn't have your flashlight out, yeah. Ooh, I always go to that t table thinking it's a workbench, but it's not. Do you, um... So, yeah, I don't know how to use the flashlight, really. Do you have to flash the high beam to get it to go away, or does it... If just having it on, does it, um... Does it scare off the wolf if you just have it on? You grab the ballistics vest on the first, on your first time I did Signal Void. That's actually a really good idea. I like that idea. I, it's too late now for me to do that, but that is a very good idea. Damn. I kind of wish I'd done that now. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, I don't have my knife on me. Oh well. 
here's my knife. I think I'm going to actually stop making arrows. We got 14 arrows. That's pretty good. I didn't realize I had those shafts on me. Okay. I'm going to stop here. Um, I think next time I'm going to just wrap up a few things. I'm going to grab a deer hide and just take it with me. Um, so we'll just we'll just get our, all, all our ducks in a row and you know sort our gear in our inventory etc um, the Travoy yeah that's the question should I take the Travoy I'll think about it I'm gonna sleep on that one okay folks Laszlo Potkova Rootbeard Good to hang out with you all. Sorry, uh, sorry you came in late. <laughs> um, that's just the way it goes, though. Um, enjoy your Sunday, and uh, I guess we're gonna see see y'all next time. And I'll oh, get strawberry jam on Bannock. Oh, baby, peanut butter. Yeah, you can get peanut butter and strawberry jam on Bannock. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. That's a good idea. I like the sound of that. Okay, everybody, take care. Take it shabby. We'll see you next time. Oh, should we, uh, okay, hang on, I'm gonna, we're gonna raid, we're gonna raid somebody. Okay, we're gonna raid DH Dunn. Good guy, everyone check out DH Dunn. Okay, alright, everyone take a shabby. Let's see here. Stop.